I'm Jade, and today is New Year's Eve, and I am going to review all my Rubik's Cube for 2017. Now, I have everything. My Rubik's Cube only had two appearances, one in this video, link in the description, and one in the, in my How to Solve Alibi 2, in the description. And let's start off with the first cube. First cube is this guy. This guy is a, a, a Rubik's Light. A Rubik's Light, if I just go down here. Oh, sorry, this is my other camera. It turns decent. It turns like, like this. I mean, it doesn't turn so good, but I mean, it, uh, it's really big, so it will turn, it'll turn decent. I actually lubed it, so it'll turn way better. I actually, I saw this before, and I got this for Christmas, too, so, um, yeah, that's just the, uh, this is a Rubik's, the Rubik's, uh, cube, I don't know. It had, instead of the logo being on the white side, it's on the yellow side, which is kind of weird. Anyway, let's move on to the next cube. This one is the, from big to small, we're going to remove the smallest Rubik's Cube in the world. By smallest in the world, the smallest in the world company. And this actually turns decently, so. It doesn't turn like the, it doesn't turn the best, but it turns pretty decently if we just move the camera. It, it actually, it turns horribly, actually. I don't know what it's doing, because I don't know if it turns decently or not, because some parts of it turn, like, really good for a small Rubik's Cube. Like, this one kind of turns good. I mean, this actually turns way better than the, um, the Rubik's, the original Rubik's Company Cube, despite, despite its size. Um, corner cutting is not really good with this, not with the big one either that I just showed you. It, it is non-existent, and neither is reverse corner cutting. So, uh... It's pretty small, it fit in my mouth, that small. And uh, I solved this before. And boy, did it take a very long time. Alright, let's move on to the next cube. Next, we got another small cube. And this small cube is actually, it's just called, but it's not just a small cube, it's called the imposter cube. Now, the imposter cube is very, it's, it's a very hard cube to solve because you need it. Actually, impossible to do. As you see, the center is missing, and these and these are and this blue side is solved. But then, if you go to the other side, the uh, I mean the black side is solved, the blue side is solved, and um, it turns actually kind of decently. It doesn't it kind of cuts a little bit, which is actually kind of surprising for a small cube. Let's see if I can do it for the camera or not. Oh, come on, I just did it perfectly. I, I have to do it with my finger. Yeah, there we go. There's a, there's a quarter cut. Oh, <laughs> it just popped out a piece. Okay. Oh, I hate popping out pieces. Yeah, quarter cutting is not good on this. If quarter cut's good, then if you want to pop in back, if you want to not let it, I just popped in the piece again. But if you, if you don't want your pieces to going everywhere, then I, I suggest not, not doing that. <laughs> but yeah, it's all the imposter cube because whatever you do, uh, there's an algorithm to switch these, and I tried it and they don't work. The algorithm doesn't work, and this is made by Nathan Leo, my friend. I do we I do we do Minecraft videos together. This is it's not it's made by him because uh, he decided to make and then and then there's my mom ruining my video again. Anyway, I'll be done soon. Anyway. So th then here's Nathan's. Nathan's puzzles are, are really weird. This is the only one he made, and he, I, 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 this is actually his own, and I put it in my pocket one day, and then he came to my house, and I said, "Here's your cube back," and he said, "You know what, Jaden? Keep the cube." And now I'm ending. I'm now I end up with this. The one by three, and the one by three, I've done a video on how to solve. And I was joking in that video because it's not really hard to solve, really, because it can only move in one in one direction, really. If you turn it this way, it will get stuck this way. It doesn't turn it any farther, and it doesn't. It also it's also keychain too. So if you're stuck and you want to hang a Rubik's cube, I don't. Why do you need a keychain? This is actually a three different things: a Rubik's cube, flashlight, and keychain. 
So, you, know, you can clip this onto your backpack if you would like. But this is actually a relatively easy to solve. You just need to do that. And there is, I'm actually ordering another cube, but that's not going to come until 2018. And here is the 1 by 3. That's not, it, it turns kind of good. Like when I got out of the box, it turned horribly, but now if you turn it a lot, it will turn quite decent. Okay, our next thing is this the Rubik's Keychain. Now, the Rubik's Keychain, I actually lubricated because this, if that's a word, this was really bad at um, at doing stuff on the and it clearly has a keychain, but it's like a different kind of keychain. You hang it on like right there instead of like a big one. But I lubricated it, and now it's like it turns decent. Actually, no, it's the wrong way. Oh yeah, it turns. It kind of still turns horribly. Corner cutting. I'm not gonna try that because I popped that piece when I did Nathan, and um, I don't know. I mean, it it has Rubik's logo on it. it I got this like what mo two months ago. I, yeah, I got this in the summer. I remember. Um, so this is I don't know why I bought it. I was just getting into cubing, so I didn't know what a good cube was. And I bought this one, saying, "Oh, wow, this would be a good thing to hang up in my backpack and carry around." And I brought it to school, and I took it out of my backpack, and the teacher ended up. Uh, taking it away for some reason, and I got and I and they wouldn't give it back to me, so I snuck it and and stole stole it from the teacher. So yeah, I like here's a funny story. This was scrambled when I got it back, so the teachers were clearly playing with my cubes. The molecule, the molecule, but this is not the oh, this is not a molecule. This is called the keychain molecule, which is another. <laughs> this is all they all have different kind of ways for keychain, but this one. This one actually is a, would be used for a good speed cube if this was a Rubik's cube, because it turns decently. If this thing wasn't poking around, then it would turn decently, and if you don't know what the mod cube is, instead of wanting it to be all colors on one side, you want all different colors on each side, so you know, all, all the same colors on each side of this. One time, I tried solving it like a Rubik's cube, and it won't work, because if I tried doing the X, there's just not, simply not enough colors to do an X. On this, or if you want to do the corners first method, this wouldn't work either because the um, corners are one color instead of two colors. Like in a, like on a, on a normal Rubik's cube, they have three colors, and this one they only have one color on the corners. So yeah, I don't know what the point of this cube is. My mom just gave it to me randomly. Uh, I, I, she knew I like, she knew I like Rubik's cubes, and she's like, oh. Here's the molecule keychain. I got the Rubik's package. And this one is like a Rubik's cube, but you can't turn it really. So and it's also keychain by the way. I'm I'm doing I'm doing this in a this one in order. This is the keychain. And basically what you do is you if you want to unzip it and scramble it, yes you can scramble this thing. All you need to do is just start scrambling it right now. You basically just turn it inside out. And you just zip it up. And there it is. It's a normal, totally, uh, cube. And you can solve. I, mean, I could have solved it if this was a normal cube, but this is not a normal cube. So this is just a, what, a, like a little bag or something. Honestly, I mean, my te the teachers can't take away this thing if I if they wanted to, because my teachers always have a habit of playing with my Rubik's cubes when they take it away. I should just expose them. I should expose, saying, "Hey, why why are you playing with my Rubik's cubes?" They just take it. they take it away from my backpack? They say, "Jay, no, you're not allowed to have Rubik's cubes in school," and they play with it. Why do you? They then I see other kids playing with Rubik's cubes. They always stare at it, so it makes no sense. But yeah, this cube. It's kind of soft. It's actually really soft. You can rub it on your face. And yeah, this is the Rubik's cube uh, bag, the Star Cube. Now, if you're wondering why is it called the Star Cube, Jade, it, it has a bunch of covers. If you notice, this is not just a two by two. It has this one has a lot of different more colors than a two by two. And why is it called the Star Cube? Because this is actually a fun puzzle to do. And to, and to learn how to solve, like, this cube is a fun puzzle to learn, but you, to learn how to solve. 
but this one is funner, more, and you just you just kind of want to, and I was solving it over and over again when I first got this. This is when I went to my dad's house in San Francisco. Um, and uh, let's just this is what you do. Look, it opens right here, and basically, if you have it like this, then all you want to do is just turn it like oh no, like this, and turn it back, and then it would be a solved two by two. But well, let's get to the point with why it's called why it's called the Star Cube because this is a normal two by two, and this is a when you swivel it back to this, it's a wait, not this, but how you let it? Said, how do you solve it? That's not it's not that simple. Basically, in in here, there's a, a, a separate two separate cubes. In here, there's a Star Cube, and yeah, and you can turn it different ways. It's a weird way to turn it, and it turns kind of weird. It, the two different, the two, this one's a normal one. If you go, you go out to the back, it's a star. It's pretty good. And the same with this one. This one's like a scrambled star cube. So this one's a scrambled star cube. This one's a star cube. At first, I was afraid of scrambling this because I thought this was really hard, but this is actually a pretty easy puzzle to do. And if you want, it's it's actually kind of tricky to put it back together. Uh, I, if I, I'm gonna see if I could, no, I can't, but, uh, here we go, let's put this in here, put this back together, come on, so then you basically just try to kind of, like, merge them together, somehow, I'm trying to merge them together right now, it's kind of hard to do that, though, wait, wait, I, I, have, so, actually, I'll do this off camera, and I'll see you, no. do I have any serious cubes, all these cubes have been silly, big or small, this is an actual, but it's not an actual cube. This is just, this is a Rubik's brand. I mean, they say, Jaden, why do you have so many Rubik's brands? Rubik's brands suck. Rubik's brands are stupid. But look at this. This is not a normal Rubik's cube. This is a Rubik's dress. Now, Rubik's dress is a Rubik's cube. I mean, it's not, not that you can't really turn it, really. But then this, it actually goes like this. So, you could, you could, like, fidget around with it. And you can like do that with it. So I might like you could. It's also it's a pretty good stress up cube actually. So I mean, why do I have this serious puzzle? This is by Meffords. Now this is called the Gear Ball. The Gear Ball by Meffords. I got this for Christmas. It's and it's, it's all scrambled because I scrambled it. Actually no, the teacher scrambled it. I know I. I'm sorry, sorry, I have two that I'm sure. This is another one that I solved. So I know how to solve this ball, but this one I didn't. And this one... This one turns way better than that one. But this one, you it's a rotation. So this one is kind of difficult to do. There's some gears that would turn. If you turn this one, these little top parts of it will turn. Like that. If you put your fingers right here. It will it'll turn both sides at the same time. Which is kinda weird. And this is a very challenging puzzle to solve, and that's why I'm never scrambling it again. And I don't know why I scrambled this one, I just didn't think there was a need for two. So I I just scrambled that one and yeah. I mean, oh shoot. This is this one's kinda weird. Yeah, but that's about it. Same with this one, it's kinda like and you want to see how it looks scrambled, and this is how it is scrambled. This is a cube. This is actually my sister's, and I told her to, if I could borrow hers. This is my Rubik's bear, or her Rubik's bear. This is actually kind of easy to solve, really. All you need to do, because this is, this is actually just a proving video. I told my sister, hey, you probably, I should say the Rubik's bear was super duper easy. And I said the Rubik's Jr. made it harder. Because the Rubik's Jr. is basically just a 2 by 2 And, um, and she said, fine, I'll just, because this one actually shape shape shifts. It goes like this, and turns like that, and turns like that, and here, and this, and turns like that, and that. And look, it shape shifts. I just shape shift the body. If I wanted to solve it, which I'm doing right now, there's a lot of different moves that you could do. 
it's obvious now. Well, it's hard. It's kind of, it's kind of hard to turn though. It doesn't turn that well. It's all basically. So yeah, I mean, this that's the Rubik's bear. The molecule. Not much to say about this. Because this one clicks. The other one didn't click at all. But this is just the bigger size of the one that you saw earlier. At Mefford's and Tony Fisher's Skew Extreme. Skew Extreme basically has the same principle as the Skew. As I'm actually was solving on the plane before it landed, I need to get uh, I need to solve this again. But I did the two little steps where you get two on the front and two on the back. Cause um, and this one turns really weirdly because they you just turn it like this. It basically solves exactly the same as the skew. Besides from these parts, you need to rotate the centers. And I I actually solved this before. Then I scrambled it for some reason because I want to be a pro at solving this skew. Um, yeah. You get the logo on the yellow side, which is kind of weird to me. But this one turns in a weird way. It goes like this. And then you go like this with solving it. It's it's a it's a really weird cube. We got the picture cube. The picture cube actually this is for this is not just a picture cube. This picture I I didn't stick this myself. It's made by Gilead Sciences. Um, but as he has the Gilead Sciences stickers right here. I don't know what stickers these are by. And you may be wondering where I got this, and I think I'm the only one on YouTube who has this cube. Um, basically, I didn't sticker this myself. I didn't make this myself. This is look, clearly this is by the Rubik's company because they made the they they made the Gilead cube. And um, this is my dad used to work for Gilead, and he moved away, and still all, he still has all their stuff. And we worked together to solve this, and it didn't really solve that much. But um, we finally solved it because we just need. I, we, I, I solved it like a normal cube, like a normal Rubik's cube. And then what happened is that these thing, these um, stickers are rotated the wrong way, and I need to rotate the center. I need to rotate the stickers to make them the same way. And finally, I solved it. So I'm never scrambling this thing again because Tommy. Uh, T Bone or whatever you want to call him, decided to come to my house and scramble this. And I'm telling, and uh, next time, this cube stays on the very high shelf, along with the uh, other gear cube. So yeah, you can scramble any other puzzle, and with the mall cube too. You can scramble any other puzzle, but all these other puzzles that I just work so hard to solve, he's not scrambling. Actually, this turns actually pretty good though. For a really somebody cube, they don't care about their fins. They care about impressing other people. So. Look at this. Look how this actually turns so so good. Look at this. Here's a here's a I wanted to face the camera. Look at that. Look at that smooth corner cutting. This has stickers too. Keep that in mind. Uh. So yeah, that's the Rubik's cube. This is a two by two, and the two by two is the original Rubik's two by two. This turns really bad. I mean, it turns it turns that bad. It turns like eh, sort of ish, but I mean, it turns decent really. It 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 doesn't it doesn't really corner cut that too good. It, it, you could finger trick it if you wanted. I'd try to finger trick it, but finger tricking it will not work either. I tried taking it apart and putting it back together, but Rubix is very strict about taking their things apart. So this is like impossible to take apart. There's, these are tiles instead of thing, uh, other things, and I, I solved this, and solving it is not that hard, by the way. I think everyone should know how to solve, uh, not everyone, because I'm not going to say this is easy to solve. I, I learned how to solve a 3 by 3 before I solved this one. Um, I'm going to do that again. I was doing an algorithm that will put, that will, that will, <laughs> it's kind of pointless, a pointless algorithm that will just make it solve again. But yeah, this is my Rubik's two by two. Okay, we've got the original Rubik's Company cube <laughs> with the stickers too. Speaking of stickers, if you look on the bottom, the green sides, one of the green side stickers are gone. And I got this in 2014 before I started a YouTube channel. 
Um, and I, I wasn't, I didn't know how to solve a cube back then. Now I do. And let me just say, this turns horribly. It, it feels dry, it turns horribly, it's kind of stiff. Oh god, that, yeah, that's not that good. And, um, the cor you, you, corner cutting is basically non-existent in that. Um, reverse corner cutting is also non-existent. And if I this is not, this is definitely not be this is not to be used in a competition at all. Oh, I, I'm just I'm just and then like at all, really? Cause look at this. I, if I do the two the two ones like this, this isn't right. This isn't this isn't right. There's no. This is not right. And then I'm just gonna bring it back to its normal form. Do that again. This is so. This is such a stiff thing to turn, and the stickers are already peeling off. Oh god, this is hard to turn. Yep, yeah, that's the Rubik's. Uh, this is the. I mean, I give the credit. This is the original Rubik's cube, and I can't believe people back in the day, since, since there was like no Mo, you were Duncan or um, Dan's cube. <laughs> they had. They had to use this crap. So, yeah. Oh, this is the Rubik's two. Point oh, yeah, the Rubik's 2.0. As Rubik's says, I got this from Amazon because I thought I thought because it said Rubik's cube on the title, and I thought it was really good. Um, the, uh, the square between the, the other two by two is that uh, the two by two I just got because it, it was just a, my dad decided to buy me a two by two. This one I bought myself. I I was being crazy about this one. This one I bought recently when I became a cuber. It turns horribly. <laughs> I thought it would turn good, and the these tiles are embedded into it. Like they look like sticker. They like, kind of look like a stickerless cube, but it is actually. It, this turned horribly. I haven't even scrambled this once. This is like. I don't want to. I want to solve this, but it feels weird when you like do it. I, I can't even turn it off that much, well. It's. Rubik's has been the most, and this, this isn't even a good cube, so. <laughs> oh my god, this is a horrible cube. Uh, and I, I never scrambled it, because I, at my school, they have a Rubik's 2.0. And I, and I tried solving it, and it was like, <sighs> when you squeeze it, if you want, like, if you press a little pressure on it, it would go, <sighs> and that would have, and that's really bad, so I'm never scrambling this cube. Unless someone dares me to, but if someone dares me to, I will. But I I wasn't talking about scrambling. I mean, just don't buy this. I know, but this one's way better. This is a store bought version. This one actually turns really good. Like for a Rubik's company brand, this turns decent. It turns pretty decent. I felt. It's really not that bad. <laughs> so myself, so. I mean, it's still, it's still, it's, 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 look at this, guys. It's still bad for a Rubik's cube. And I'm telling you, it's, it's still gonna be pretty bad. But this one actually is kind of good. It's better than all it corner cuts. Look at this. Let's see if I can. Corner cuts. In reverse corner, reverse corner cutting is actually not existent on this. But in corner cuts, it it moves decently. Uh, this room is coming to cube. It turns okay, but I'd say this is still bad. If you try using it for a competition, I wouldn't recommend this cube. It's a good beginner's cube though. It's a good beginner cube. This is a Rubik's V cube. No, no. This is a this is a V cube. Made by the V cube. It's a, called the V cube three. And it's a V cube company. And um is really this a lot this is called known as the YouTuber's cube. Now the YouTuber's cube is 
like a lot of cute, a lot of YouTubers use this. PewDiePie used it. Markiplier used it. Everyone used this. Even Dan TDM used this one cube to solve. It. This is called the Rubik's cube. I this is the YouTube cube because YouTube cube is really good. I think they did a good job calling this YouTube cube because it's red and white and stuff on the side. Uh. I don't know why YouTubers use this one a lot. I just I, since I saw a Markiplier and PewDiePie using it, I decided to buy it. My friends say it sucks. My friends say it's horrible, but it's actually the only problem with this is that it it's better than the Rubik's Cup one. It's just too fast. If you try doing the algorithm, if and you try turning this like a speed cube, it would turn this side all the way to the back. And I mean, like, I almost, this is, it's just not really ideal, that's, that's, it's too loose, they made it too, too darn loose, like, when you're, when you're doing it, you can barely keep control of it, I mean, it's not, it's not bad, it feels weird, but, when you're trying to turn it, like a speed cube, let's see if I want to turn it like a speed cube, I'd go like, I'd try going like, I saw locks up a lot, so that day. Yeah, I almost lost it there, so this is the V cube. Now let's get on to the good cubes. It's my Dunkin' Speed Cube. Now I have three speed cubes on my list. One's called the Blank. I don't know what I know it's not very well known this cube. It's called the Blank. I have I'm getting a GANS. And I'm getting cube lube. <laughs> I don't know. What that's and I'm getting the Rubik's Company uh, speed cube. And I think the Rubik's Company speed cube is gonna be better than all the other ones. But this is my normal speed cube for now. This one is the Duncan cube. Vane says this sucks. It's actually a really it catches sometimes, but it it quarter cuts very smoothly. Look at that. Wow. Look at that quarter cut. It it does. It actually. It goes from very far away. Uh, reverse corner cutting. What the heck is wrong with the reverse? Reverse corner cutting is basically non-existent. Actually, no. Reverse corner cutting is not decent, but corner cutting is how. Look at this. How does a corner cut that? It it just corner cuts that. It it that's that's kind of crazy. But. For a cube, this is actually this is a real this is a really good cube to start off. With. I I'm just gonna give this a quick solve real quickly. Yeah, like, I don't know if you hear locking up a little bit, but it's not it locks up kind of because I actually was playing with this while I was getting a haircut and my hair got in this cube. And now it's like it's kind of bad, but if I give this a quick solve, just real quickly, I'm just gonna give it a quick solve. Turn that way, turn that way, that way, down, that way, down. I, I, you know, I don't me for myself. I'm not a very good YouTuber, uh, but it this is like. Pretty, I'm not gonna say it's bad. It's actually, it's decent. Um. Uh, and you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hate on it. <laughs> oh, what the heck did I do here? Also, I hate when I um do stuff wrong, two on cubes. Like I hate that. Cause this is one piece that's totally this down, 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 and down, and up. Uh, nope. I'm solving this as fast as I can. Like that. Down like that. Oh, I'm doing way better on this solve than I was before. Right, decide. 
Yeah, if you hear it locking up in the background, that's because it, it is locking up. <laughs> I don't. So, if you want to buy this cube, then please buy it. But for now, I hope you enjoyed. But uh, yeah, actually, I'm doing it in a minute. I was going to say, I hope you enjoyed this cube solving video. But you know, it's not a really cube solving video. Um, I mean, yeah, this one, this one definitely locks up a lot. I'm not gonna play the shame. Yeah, that's that. It's all. So, I guess I'll be enjoyed. And I'll see you with the next video. Goodbye, Tori17. Bye!